Elaine, good evening. That's right. The medic helicopter was aiming for here to land here at the Howard Young Medical Center. But like you mentioned, we know it never made it here. I spoke to a couple who live just down the road from the crash site, and they tell me this is an unfortunate day in their community. Crushed and twisted pieces of a helicopter are scattered in the woods off Highway 51 in Hazelhurst. Just before 1130 last night, police received a dispatch call of a missing air ambulance. Search teams found the wreckage overnight. Today we learned the pilot and two medical staff on board the Ascension Spirit Air helicopter died in the crash. No patients were on board. Well, it's kind of like a thud. Steve Velker and his wife Janice live down the road from the crash site on South Blue Lake Road. They often hear medical helicopters fly overhead, often flying to and from Howard Young Medical Center. But Thursday night was different. I didn't feel anything. It didn't. The engine didn't make any noise or uh, propeller, just they stopped. The helicopter was returning to Woodruff after dropping off a patient in Madison. The Velkers say they heard the helicopter sometime between 1030 and 11 p.m. I am aware of traffic on our road, which there isn't any. And when I started seeing two or three vehicles come in um, and a couple of them leave and then come again, I was suspicious. Police say the last contact with the helicopter came shortly before 11 p.m. We are in a, a flight pattern, so we're used to hearing it. But every time we do, um, we always say someone's having a really bad day. Yeah, Lane, and a really bad day. I mean, imagine just what this community is feeling. Again, that helicopter was aiming to land here at Howard Young Medical Center late last night. We don't have any information on the three individuals that have died in this crash. That is a pilot and two medical staff. No, no information on their names. Nothing of that sort just yet. Now, our News Watch 12's Ben Meyer is talking to a spokesperson with NTSB. They are one of the leading investigators in this as well as the FAA. We'll have more on that coming up on News Watch 12 at 6. Live in Woodruff, Ali Herrera. Newswatch 12. All right, yeah, Elaine, I just got off the phone with Ben Meyer and he gave me some information here. He spoke to the air safety investigator with NTSB. He said he's going to be on scene for the next couple of days. It's at least as long as he's expecting to be on scene. Now, his job is to investigate perishable information. That means things like weather conditions, pilot and pilot's record, and the condition of the aircraft. Now, the preliminary report is expected in about a week, but like you said, that final report is expected in about a year. So, like you mentioned, we might not have answers to those questions anytime soon. Live in Woodruff, Ali Herrera, Newswatch 12.